the TV business. Like you mentioned how like, you know, do you, you think TV. we won't even need a TV maybe in the future? I, I think TV will simply be different. I mean, for example, with the flexible electronics, this screen would be a TV. So you can fold it and... and, and but people and already use projectors for TVs. But like yes. you can already hook up. So yeah, but this would be the screen. This right. would be the entire screen. Like the Mac, which is, has all the light emitting diodes in it, and it can produce its own color. And this is part of the vision that coming from, actually from Britain. I'm not inventing anything when I'm saying no. I'm just quoting it in, in uh, things in, in a different way, maybe. Because once you can do all these things, and people are also talking about creating an atmosphere in the room. Just think that once you make all these tiles that can be interactive, all the, the meaning of walls become different. Because you don't have to decide on a color. You just come in there and you feel like uh, having a green picture. You just click a button and it will happen. And, and you can see it on the web already. And you think that's what TVs will turn into? Those, you know, it'll be more about what part of your wall you use to watch TV? It's just like, you know, photography used to be in the album. It's, it's everywhere now. Do you know if TV manufacturers are testing anything like that already? Yeah, they are, they are, the flexible uh, TVs are already at the prototype levels in manufacturing. They are making a printed uh, lighting. So in, in the large companies like Philips or Samsung and all that, they also work on or GE. They are printing uh, lighting elements large scale and also using the fact that you can create lighting elements with, which are not flat so they use it they say that it is more like an uh, architectural uh, gadget that you add to your home you know, it's, a, it's a different way to look at lighting and when do you think that kind of stuff would be ready for a consumer like 20 years 50 no, years no, 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 no. I, I think from the technological part of you point of view it's very it's very hard to predict, but uh, so I read some of the suggestions to look at it historically because you know it's the best way to predict the future is to know the history. And if you look at the way technology, new technologies emerge, like from the silicon industry, and then it usually takes around twenty years. If it's similar to a different technology, then you would be able to shave off a few years. But uh, new technology never and. And I think this new technology, it, it started the uh, early 2000. <coughs> so I think in five years time, you know, it should be there. Although I don't really know the state of the technology in, in, in the manufacturing fabs, but just historically, that, that's, that should happen. It should be somewhere between 15 and 20, and that's five years from now. Does any of that innovation from Samsung or Philips, like you mentioned, does any of that happening in their centers here, if they have any? Samsung, do not have, I know they don't have a center here. We, we interact with uh, quite a few companies uh, worldwide. And, uh, the whole business of printing and display, Israel didn't really pay attention to it till this year, actually. So really, I think the first activity, as I said, is a new consortium that's been proposed to the government that will be set up, so maybe in a month, we know if we, it's approved, and if that would be approved, then things will happen here as well. Cool. Do you guys study 